the gospel of Jesus Christ. Everything is going down but the word of God. It is written. 2 Timothy 3.16 All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. This is proof that God wants his creation made in his own image to enter the kingdom of God. How do we know? Because he has given the doctrine for instruction and correction in the scriptures. One, how do you enter the kingdom of God? You must be born again of the water and of the spirit. It is written, John 3, 5 through 7. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Ye must be born again. If any man, male and female, doesn't obey these inspired scripture instructions, then they will not enter the kingdom of our God, which is heaven. It is written, Revelation 12, 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Two, how are you born again of the water? You must be buried in water, which is baptized. Acts 8, 35 through 36. Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here's water. What doeth hinder me to be baptized? Three, what must you do to be baptized in water? Believe with all thine heart, then you may be baptized. It is written, Acts 8, 37, 36. And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they went down both into the water both Philip and the eunuch and he baptized him. So the disciple preached Jesus. Jesus is the gospel. So it doesn't matter if the theological institution or the religious organization or an angel from heaven came and told these overseers to pour water on infants' heads or sprinkle babies with water, if that soul cannot believe with all their heart, which leads to the confession with their mouth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, which is that Jesus Christ is Lord, which is that God have raised him from the dead, Philippians 2.11, Romans 10.9, then they cannot be baptized. If you're sprinkling or pouring water over babies' heads who cannot repent, who cannot believe that Jesus Christ's gospel is being preached, who cannot make this confession before they get in the water, then you are wrong. You are against the gospel of Jesus Christ. You are preaching another gospel, and unless you repent, you will be a curse. It is written, Galatians 1, 6-9, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ 
unto another gospel, which is not another. But there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be a curse. But wait, what God have joined together, let not man put asunder, Mark 10, 9. Except a man be born of the Spirit also, then they cannot enter the kingdom of God, which is heaven. Jesus Christ says, Receive ye the Holy Ghost, John 20, 22. Jesus Christ says, Ask your Father in heaven for the Holy Spirit. It, it's written, Luke eleven thirteen. 13. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Folks that receive the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit, Acts 2 and 4, speak with new tongues. It is written, Acts 19, 6. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. And again, it is written, Mark 16, 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. These are the inspired words of God, instructions from the scriptures. God joined them together for admission into the kingdom of God. Born of water, born of spirit, that's being born again. Born again of the water and of the spirit. A, repent. B, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission, which is the removal of sins. C, then ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It is written, Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I show you a mystery. When you repent, you receive the Holy Ghost. The disciples received the Holy Ghost before they were baptized in water. Acts 2, 1 through 4. The house of Cornelius received the Holy Ghost before they were baptized in water. Acts 10, 44. That's because they repented. When you repent, then you are obeying God. It is written. Acts 5:32. And we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God have given to them that obey him. Baptized is to be buried in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Pouring and sprinkling ain't burying. It is written, Romans 6, 3-4. Know ye not? That so many of us, as were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also shall walk in newness of life. Any man or an angel from heaven Preaching any other gospel other than this is accursed. We have the standard. Isaiah 49, 22. The Holy Scriptures are the standard of God. Copied and preserved in the English tongue 
in the Holy Bible authorized by King James, which the Levites had in the Old and New Testament. Why do we keep the standards of God written in the Holy Scriptures? Because everything is going down but the Word of God. Binary and non-binary gender is going down. Crashing and burning right into hell. Gender is not what you are. Gender is what you do. Mankind, which is created in the image of God, is male and female. It, it's written, Mark 10, 6-9. But from the beginning of the creation... God made them male and female. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God have joined together, let not man put asunder. Male and female, gender to reproduce even the male and female of animal kind gender it is written Job 21 10 their bull gendered and faileth not their cow calfeth and casteth not her calf gender is an old English word used by the medical and scientific community for their mind psych agenda to diminish the population. Somebody got to tell you. Evolution is going down, crashing and burning right into hell. No plant kind evolved into animal kind. No animal kind evolved into mankind. Never has, never will. It is written, Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. God created everything and everything visible and invisible was created by the word of God, which is Jesus Christ. Colossians 1.16, Ephesians 3.9. Everything mankind makes breaks down. His ideas get old and out of date. His civilizations get ruined and destroyed. The things we see, natural, physical, and intellectual, by mankind are going down, crashing down and burning right into hell. But one thing stands forever, and that is the Word of God. It is written, Isaiah 40, 7 and 8, The grass wither, the flower fadeth, because the Spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass wither, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Repent and believe the gospel. Amen and amen.